Hello friends, welcome to YouTube channel Electronics for You. In this video, I will explain smoke detectors in details. The topics for this videos are types and working of de smoke detectors, advantages and disadvantages of smoke detector. A smoke detector is a, an electronics fire protective device that automatically sends the presence of smoke as a key indication of fire. We know that fire smoke is the key indication of fire and a smoke detector detects the presence of smoke and therefore it can be used for the detection of fire. There are three types of smoke detectors. The first one is ionization smoke detector. Second one is photoelectric smoke detector. Third is ionization or photoelectric smoke detector. Basically it is the combination of this above two that is ionization and photoelectric smoke detector. Commercial and industrial smoke detectors issues a signal to a fire alarm whereas a household smoke detector may indicate an audible or visual alarm locally from the detector itself and generally these household smoke detectors are battery powered sing single units or may be interconnected with the hardwire devices backed up by batteries. Now let's start with the first type of smoke detector. This is the ionization smoke detector. Ionization smoke detectors are more responsive to the fires resulting from the flammable liquids, woods or paper starting on fire. So basically you will observe these materials in the home and therefore we can say that the ionization smoke detectors are preferred for the homes. Ionization smoke alarms are highly sensitive to small smoke particles. Note here that they are sensitive to small smoke particles and respond faster to the fast flaming fires than the photoelectric smoke alarm, but not to the smoldering fires. Now let's see the construction of ionization smoke detector. So here you can see that there is aluminum plate and a radioactive material is placed between these two ionizing plates. This is known as ionization chamber and we can say that this is a sensing chamber. For ionization smoke chamber, an aluminum can containing the ionization source. Here you can see that one material known as americium 241 is placed between this ionization chamber and in normal cases these will ionize the particle between these two plates and therefore a small amount of current will flow between these two plates and when a smoky condition is detected here you can see that these black points are there so these are the smoke particles and when these smoke particles are detected the current between these two plates decreases and this is sensed by the sensor and therefore we can say that ionization smoke detector will detect these particles or we can say that uh, smoke particles by variation in current between these two plates and thus it can be used for the detection of fire. So this change in current will further activate the alarm. Now let's see the advantages of ionization smoke detector. Its cost is less than the photoelectric smoke sensor. Then it, it outperforms the photoelectric smoke detector when detecting fast flaming fires with little vis visible smoke. Now let's see the disadvantages of ionization smoke detector. So it is very sensitive which can lead to the false, false alarms and they are slower than the photoelectric sensor in detecting the smoke particles from the smoldering fires. So these are the disadvantages. One more is there it use, uses the radioactive materials in 
which is a concern. Now let's talk about the construction of photoelectric smoke detector. As the name indicates, it, it is related with the light. So here we a light source is used and a light detector that is known as photo detector is used. In normal condition, this light will go straight and will not uh, fall on the photo detector and therefore no light is detected by photo sensor here. Again its construction is same as that of uh, the previous one that is it is also having a sen sensing chamber and when a smoke particles enters into this chamber then this light will get refracted and once it is refracted some part due to this refraction it will fall on the photo detector and if falls on the photo detector then it can detect that smoke and thus a photoelectric smoke detector senses the fire particles or we can say that smoke particles in this way the photoelectric smoke detector works now let's see the advantages it is ideal for the detecting dense smoke then it does not contain a radioactive material making it safer for use now let's see the disadvantages it is sensitive to dust particles and insects meaning that regular maintenance is needed then the maintenance cost is more as compared to ionization smoke detectors it requires more current to operate because here the light source are continuously activated now next type of smoke detector is ionization photo photoelectric smoke detector this is a combination of previous ionization smoke detector and a photoelectric smoke detector we know that the ionization smoke detector was able to detect the flaming fires whereas whereas photoelectric detector can detect the smoldering fires so uh, we can say that these are having their own strengths and weaknesses ionization detector detects the small back soot particle from the flaming fires which quickly because they are produced in greater number and reduces the current between the plates whereas photoelectric detectors are more sensitive to the particles that are larger in size or white and light colored and thus they are more reflective and therefore having both type of smoke detector installed detects the multiple types of fires so here we can say that they can detect multiple types of fire a combination of this smoke detector is the best way to protect the residents from the fire so generally ionization photoelectric smoke detector is best choice for the fire detection so in this way we have seen different types of smoke detector which can be used for the detection of fire and friends if you like this video please subscribe our channel and press the bell icon for notification and like comment and share thank you